Hey everybody, this is David at Barnyard Bees. We're in early August and I'm going out here and going through the colonies and finding out which ones are strong, which ones are weaker. And at this point, uh, you can keep doing splits if you want. Uh, we've done them all the way up into September. Uh, that's of course is with a mated queen at that time once you get that late in the year. Uh, this is still early enough here if let's say you have a colony that you just don't want to buy a queen or invest in a queen but you just want to and it's maybe a small colony for example over here I get this little two framer and it, it doesn't have a lot of bees in it but it does have enough to, to do something with so what I do, and this is not a real popular idea a lot of times, they say, well, genetically, the, the, the bees or the queen's not going to be as, as good because it's not going to be a, a very uh, well-made queen cell. And now, look, I, at, at this, with a hive this small, let, let's look at it like this. Now, that is sometimes the truth, but not always. I've done uh, walkaway splits like that, and they'd be excellent queens. Okay, what else are you gonna do with this little colony? Okay, you could break it up and use those resources somewhere else. You could do that, but to me, it's worth the try. And you may not wanna, you know, go buy a, a mated queen for it. This is just goes out to the people that are just getting into beekeeping beekeeping and don't have a lot of money and don't want to spend more money this late in the year in the summer and this is a way that you can do and it just it's you might get a good lane queen if not okay what have you lost you, you haven't really lost anything because you can still take those resources and transfer them into other colonies so it, it's kind of a win-win situation and a lot of times, like I said, those queens do pretty good. It's not consistently always a bad queen or consistently always a good queen. It's kind of a toss-up, toss up, maybe 50-50. But to me, it's worth a try. So this colony over here is pretty packed out. A lot of bees in there. Every frame is covered in bees. Uh, so genetically, it's a good hive. So as far as that goes, we're looking at a, a hive that is a genetically well fit as far as a breeding colony goes. Not saying that it's it's going to make the perfect queen cell. Now there, there's other ways of going about this, depending on your your sources. You might take you might pull that queen out and put her in a T frame somewhere and drop or just, just let them make some queens and you got a lot, a lot of bees in there that can make a lot of emergency cells and being that there's more bees in there, they will create probably a better queen cell than say those that are small. It just all depends on the resources you have. If you, if you have the resources, you can go that route and then you can move them around, split them over to your, your, uh, your smaller colony. But having said all that, before everyone starts uh, <laughs> arguing about how that's such a bad idea, I want to up front and, and explain that to begin with to kind of nip it in the bud uh, so the, the complainers won't pop up there and, and say stuff. So I've already said it. <laughs> anyway, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go through here and I'm going to find the queen, the frame that she's on. And I'm going to try to find a frame that has all stages of, of uh, eggs, Larva, cat brood, all the way up, hopefully. That's what I can find. And that would make a good, and I'm gonna move frame, bees, and all. There's nothing in this colony over here that can be harmed. There's no queen in it. So these bees can't harm that queen. They might fight, fight and fuss a little bit. Some of those bees may return. That's fine. Some of those baby bees will stay, and of course all the cat brood's gonna hatch out in, in that as well. And then they can make a queen cell We'll sit back and see what happens. Now, that's what we're gonna do. Let me go through it, see if I can find the queen. Okay, there she is. She's a monster of a queen. 
doing very good. This hive is stronger than I thought. It's really, really packed out, a lot of bees. So, here's what else I'm gonna do. I know the frame I got my queen on. So I'm gonna put her to the side and I found a, a, a nice frame of capped brood. In fact, I'll probably, there's a lot of young eggs on this frame here. Of course, you know, the, the queen's there, more than likely there will be. So I'm gonna pull her, pull her out, put her on another frame, and I'm gonna use this as my donor frame. Mm -hmm. And I have another frame in there that has a lot of cap brood on it. And I'm gonna take that frame and I'm gonna add it to this colony right here. I'm gonna shake the bees off because this does have a, a, a mating queen, but the colony's kind of struggling a little bit with population, and this will help boost up their population by putting that frame of capped brood in there. So let me let me grab this queen, and then we'll get this put in the two-frame nuke. Okay, I got the queen put in. This frame right here in the center was a an, an empty frame, just had a starter strip and a little bit of comb on the very top that I pulled out of that two frame. So here's my frame right here that has all those bees on it that the queen was on, plus it has eggs, cat brood, and a lot of bees on it. This this had a lot of, a lot of bees in this colony. Okay, there's the frame right there. I just shook the bees off of it. It had a lot of cat brood. So I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna place this into this little two-framer right here. And, and this frame right here, it did have a fair amount of bees on it. So what I'm gonna do, they might, they're gonna fuss and fight a little bit, but it won't be too bad because um, some of those will fly back and I'll smoke it up, smoke it a little bit right here. That'll increase the, the strength. Like I said, some of them will fly back. Um, so there we go. And I think they'll make, I, I have pretty good luck with this. Maybe, maybe it's just luck. And maybe it's just the, the breed of bees. But I have pretty good luck with walkaway splits and they end up being pretty good queens. So I'm gonna come over here and get my smoker if I hadn't went out because I was sitting there trying to film a lot. Okay, it's still active. Wind's blowing a lot. Try to smoke them down a little bit. It's not that I believe in smoking a hive a lot. I'm just trying to get those excess bees to go down. Okay. Just mix the cardboard. Okay. Bees are very calm in general today. Get on my feeder, I'll put the lid on, I'll be done with it. And then, of course, like I said, we'll get this one put in here. I'm just gonna drop it in, add, add to their population a little bit. This cat brood will start hatching out. It'll help them. Uh, she'll start building up a little bit of momentum, knowing that she has a little bit of more bees to work with in her colony. So, that's about it, really. It's, it's that simple. Uh, you can do that for yourself. It works very well and it, what it did here too. It, it helped decrease the population here because uh, we, we pulled out that cat brood that was going to add to this one. Now if you just go do a split or something there, There's just many options to do. You know, you may have wanted just held back on this and done a, a nice split with it But this is just another route that you can do with extra bees that you have. So I'm just kind of putting that out because I know a lot of people will throw their ideas up and that's fine, that's fine. You know, if you got any better ideas or uh, comments, please comment. And that's about it for today, folks. Just wanted to show you that little tip from Barnyard Bees. Uh, don't forget beekeeping supplies at barnyardbees.com. And don't forget, click on the little bell, like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, Barnyard Bees.